vectors 9.4 intersection of three planes so here is a question which has been asked so many times by the students is question 14 page 533 the following system of equations represents three planes that intersect in a line determine p and q 2x plus y plus z equals to 4 x minus y plus z equals to p and 4x plus qy plus z equals to 2. Now in this particular case we know that the intersection is a point that in this particular case we know that the intersection is a line. Now since the intersection is a line when you reduce it the last row will be 0 equals to 0 right that will help us to figure out what Q should be and then we can work our way up and find P right so that is the strategy which will follow to solve this equation right so what I'm trying to say here is when we write in the matrix form then we expect a matrix which will be kind of like this So, so this line will be all zeros, right? So that means one parameter, and that means that the intersection is a line, right? So that is how we are going to solve this equation. So let me first translate this into the matrix form. So we can write this equation as actually equals to 2, 1, 1. Four, and then 1 minus 1. 1 which is p 4q z and 2 right so that is what the matrix is now to get zeros here what we can do is the next operation should be that we can do r2 so I'll write down the um, operation here and then we'll do the reduction of this matrix so what we will do here is we will do we have to make this 4 0 that means r3 minus 2 times r1 right so that will give us 0 in this position and to get 0 in this position what we should do is we can multiply r2 by 2 and so we get 2 times r2 minus r1 so if we do this operation on the rows we'll get 0 and 0 in these positions right so let's do both of them simultaneously and write down our answer so what we get here is so we are actually I should have written this on this side but in any case uh, or or let me write this equal to right here right that's that's okay so so we'll first write the first row which is 2 1 1 and 4 right and now if I do 2 times 2 is 4 so we get 0 here let me start with the last one and 2 times 1 is 2 so we get q minus 2 in this case right so we get q minus 2 I'll just squeeze it in and 2 times 1 is 2 so z minus 2 uh, will be will come here so we'll get oh z it should be just 1 not z right so coefficient is is 1 so 2 uh, minus 1 uh, so we are doing r3 minus 2 times this so 1 minus 2 q minus 2 so yeah r3 minus 2 r1 so we get minus 1 here right that's correct now this time we are doing 2 r2 minus r1 so 2 times 2 and then this is 0 minus 2 minus 1 gives us minus 3 and 2 minus 1 will give us 1 and on this side 2p minus 4 right so we get 2p minus 4 here we forgot r3 is 2 minus 2 so 2 minus 2 is 2 okay 8 2 minus 8 4 times 2 8 will give us minus 6 so that is the matrix which we'll get in this position right now as you see in this matrix our last row should be equal to 0 right so let's make it 0 
by adding we can add R2 and R3 right so we'll add R2 and R3 to make that 0 so that's what we will do now so we'll do R3 plus R2 and then see what we get so we'll write the first row as it is 2 1 1 4 and we'll just continue writing the second also we're not doing any operation there the 2p minus 4 right and the third one we are adding so we are adding r2 and r3 so when you add this you get q minus 5 and when you add this you get 0 and when you add this you get uh, 2p minus 10 so that is what you get now since the solution is a line the last row should be 0 equals to 0 do you understand that part so last row has to be 0 equals to 0 so that gives us two particular equations and the equations are q minus 5 equals to 0 and 2p minus 10 equals to 0 so these are our equations from here we can find the value of q and p right so q equals to 5 and then 2p equals to 10 or p equals to 5 so we get q and p as equals to 5 do you understand so that is the solution for uh, for finding p and q and therefore we get our matrix as let me write it in a different ink now so we get a matrix as we'll plug in 5 and 5 for p and q and write it as 2x plus y plus z equals to 4 and then we have x minus y plus z equals to p and we have 4x plus qy plus z equals to 2 so that becomes the matrix right now we got that is actually the original matrix i copied so we have to write the value of p and q so which is which is kind of we'll just change this q p and q values let me use the ink here to correct it so instead of p we'll write 5 instead of q also we'll write 5 so so that is the matrix with p and q now as an extension to this problem what you can do is you can now actually solve these right and find the equation of line so so basically to solve this if you continue then you have a matrix here itself so you have 2 1 1 and here the value is 4 right so 0 minus 3 1 and we have 0 0 0 p is 5 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 minus 4 is 6 p is 5 2 times 5 is 10 10 minus 10 is 0 so this is what you get here correct so so when you have this matrix then to solve it we will say well x y z components so one of them has to be zero that is i mean one of them has to be a parameter so z equals to t so that is what you get from the last statement and then from here we get minus 3y plus z which is t equals to 6 and you know z is t so we can write from here y let's say minus 3y first and then we say 6 minus z which is t right now then we get y equals 2 we'll divide by minus 3 here so we get minus 2 plus z over 3 so that is the value of y similarly we can find the value of x also so in terms of parameter we'll put z as t at the end so which is 2x plus y plus z equals to 4 and now we know we'll plug in all the values uh, we have x equals to 4 minus y minus z divided by 2 right so that is x equals to this much so so that is the x value now what we will do is we'll write all the values z is t and y is equals to minus 2 plus t over 3 and x value will be equals to so instead of that we'll write this so it is 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus half of y so half of this will be let me write like this minus 1 plus z is t so t over 6 minus minus t so that is the value of x 
and so we can simplify all these and then get the equation of line correct so we can continue with this solution and get the equation of line the whole idea here is that if the intersection of a plane is a line in that case the last row should be zero in your solution and that gives you the answer for your missing variables q and p right thank you